All right, all right, my fellow code enthusiasts, it's your favorite tech wizard back with a whole new adventure into the world of pixels and brackets, full of whimsy and wisdom. Today we're talking about something close to my heart, something that makes my code-loving soul sing, component-driven development in React. Now brace yourself, because we're about to embark on a magical journey through code. Imagine, if you will, a world where building a web application is just like playing with Legos. Yes, those beautiful little blocks that we use to build castles, spaceships, and wild dreams. Each Lego piece, dear coder, represents a component, and you can use different components to build different fabulous things. Now, if you're scratching your head thinking, Big Papa Code, how do Legos and code mix? Let me enchant you with an explanation. In the mystical realm of software development, components are like reusable spells, pieces of code that you can summon again and again to create different parts of a website or application. By breaking down a website into smaller reusable components or Lego blocks, if you will, you can easily conjure up and maintain complex digital castles. Want to change the drawbridge without toppling the towers? No problem. Component-driven development allows you to swap out one piece without affecting the entire kingdom. Now enter React the magic wand that takes our Lego building extravaganza to new heights. React, my friends, is the fairy dust that brings our components to life. With React, you can create reusable components that change, interact, and dance across your user's screen. React is like having a magic box of infinite Lego pieces, each with its special power. You've got the on-click piece, the use state spell, and the enchanted use effect charm. Want to make that drawbridge open when the virtual night approaches? React has got your back. Additionally, component-driven development sprinkled with React magic allows for better collaboration between the wizards, aka the developers. Each team member can work on a different spell and later combine them into a magical potion of success. It's like a wizarding assembly line of creativity. So my dear apprentices, component-driven development is not just like building with Legos, it's like building with enchanted Legos that come to life and dance to your whims. It allows you to craft reusable, modular spells that can be easily updated and integrated into a complex digital playground. I know, I know it's mesmerizing, and you're probably itching to go build a digital spaceship or a dragon that spits virtual fire, but hold your horses, or should I say, hold your unicorns. Before you go, hit that like button, share this whimsical wisdom with fellow wizards, and don't forget to subscribe for more techno magic. This has been Big Papa Code, the Professor of Pixels, your guide to the enchanted forest of code signing off. Until next time, keep those brackets in line, and may your code be ever bug-free.